Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. Today we'll talk about assumptions or criteria for a random vibration input to SOLIDWORKS simulation. There are criteria that should be met to qualify the input as random to run in SOLIDWORKS simulation. These are, the signal must be stationary, it satisfies a Gaussian probability distribution, and the mean value is zero. The signal should be stationary. Another characteristic of a measured signal is its standard deviation. The standard deviation is a measure of the dispersion about the mean value. If the standard deviation is constant, then the signal is considered stationary. This graph of acceleration time history shows a non-stationary signal. The signal is taken from accelerometers of a rocket launch. Below it is a graph of the standard deviation of the same signal. You can see the standard deviation changes from launch to stage separation, then another burn, for example. So the signal over the entire time history is not stationary. You can section out parts of the signal to achieve stationary behavior. For example, a portion of the burn component is almost stationary. It satisfies a Gaussian probability distribution. When you plot a histogram of the signal, you should see something like this, a bell curve. From the highlighted area, you can see the signal likes to remain near zero most of the time. This is representative of a Gaussian probability distribution. In contrast, here is a histogram of a pure sine wave signal, one frequency. It does not satisfy the Gaussian probability distribution. Most of the time, the signal likes to stay at its maximum amplitude, in this case plus 10 or minus 10. The mean value is zero. For random vibration in SOLIDWORKS simulation, the mean is set to zero. For the standard deviation denoted by sigma, and the root mean square as RMS, a consequence of setting the mean to zero is the standard deviation and the RMS become the same value. Now SOLIDWORKS provides result values in RMS such as displacement, acceleration, stress, and so on. Since the RMS values are the same as the standard deviation, then you are reporting the one sigma values. And from probability theory, the one sigma values occur in the structure about 68% of the time. As a review to qualify the signal for random vibration, the signal should be stationary, it should satisfy a Gaussian distribution, and the mean value is zero. Next, you would typically use commercial software to pass the signal through a Fourier transformation or equivalent bandpass filter to generate a PSD input graph like this. Many thank yous go to Mr. Tom Irvine of VibrationData.com for examples and materials used in this video. In this video, we've discussed assumptions to qualify a random vibration input for SOLIDWORKS simulation. 